What's going on everybody? This is Gent, someone six back here again. And today I want to quickly talk to you guys about whether the Tennessee Titans made the right move or you know, maybe maybe business like or maybe morally. Like, did they make the you know the correct decision of re-signing Ryan Tannehill and franchise tagging Derrick Henry? Um, I know a lot of NFL fans are upset. Um, you know, I'm a Bama fan, so of course I want Derrick Henry to get paid, but he was franchise tagged. And if you in you know, if you look at the running back position. Um, they don't get paid a lot of money or, you know, I should say that, you know, it's one of the more under, you know, under appreciated positions in the league, especially because like, as you know, you look at, you look at the previous years, running backs that are signed at 28, 29 years of age, and they get the contract that they want, they don't produce very well. Um, Derek Henry is a guy that just, you know, he got franchise tax, so he's going to be 27 years of age playing during the season. And then by the time he's officially a free agent, He's going to be 28 years of age. And that's if Tennessee doesn't franchise tag him again. While you look at a guy like Ryan Tannehill, four-year contract, more than $110 million. And he's a guy that just came in during the middle of the season and they decided to pay him that much money. So in my opinion, I would go with Derrick Henry. I think Derrick Henry was the person to sign. Um, because if you look at what he did, you know, especially during the latter half of the season, including the postseason, when Ryan Tannehill was having some efficient games, but he wasn't throwing for 300, 400 yards or anything like that. I mean, they were games where Ryan Tannehill threw for literally less than 100 yards. And Derrick Henry in the offensive line was doing the majority of the boatload when it comes to when it comes to the, the production on the offensive side of the ball. You know, you know, Derrick Henry, again, the offensive line, they were just they were putting that they were just putting in work. Derrick Henry would have 30 to 40 carries for over 150 yards or 200 yards. And, you know, again, he, you know, he has a bruising type of play style where, you know, where, where, you know, you can chew the clock up, you can tire out the defense. And Ryan Tannehill basically did nothing. I mean, he threw for, I mean, he was efficient, but he wasn't that game changer, right? Um, I'm one of those persons, I'm one of those people that, you know, you have to really be that game changer in order for you to get paid. Um... It's one of the biggest reasons why I'm not really the biggest fan of Kirk Cousins really getting the contract that he did or if Dak Prescott, if he gets the contract that if you know that he gets. Um, you know, I'm more opposed to players, you know, if you if you are the best on the football field and you have the most impact, um, then you definitely deserve um to get the money that you got. And I understand Ryan Tannehill, he, he came in during Marcus Mariota, and that team started to churn up a little bit. It started churning. But we can't forget about Derrick Henry's place and what he meant for Tennessee. Because I think with the, without Derrick Henry, they're not going to the AFC Championship game. They're not going to. They're not to the point where they're almost reaching the Super Bowl as a wild card team. And again, I know people say well, Ryan Tannehill, you know, he did this and did that. But again, there were games where he threw less than 150 passing yards, and Derrick Henry had in the offensive line did most of the work. And the credit, it seems like the credit is not really given a lot as far as you know, as far as the money wise. It seems like Ryan Tannehill is getting the, the majority of that credit. And again, I do really feel bad for Derrick Henry. Because he's going to be 28 years of age um, during the 2021 offseason. He's going to be 28. And you look at his play style. And you look at the amount of carries that he's had in, at the high school level, through college, through the NFL. It's going to eventually work up. You're, it's, it's eventually going to take a toll on your body. And running backs, when they get to those late 20s, they don't get the contracts that they want. Derrick Henry is playing like a top five running back. He was the lead leading rusher in the NFL, and he deserves to get money. But at 28 years of age, he might not get that contract that he wants. He might not get it. You know, I know that there, you know he was asking for you know um, Ezekiel Elliott type of money, where Ezekiel Elliott's getting paid 90 million dollars, and Ezekiel Elliott deserved that money because you know when he came to the league, he was one of the best running backs in the NFL, and he and he, and he had that huge impact at Dallas. But my goodness, uh, it just sucks that he might not ever get that opportunity ever again because of this franchise tag. And I understand it's a business decision. You couldn't sign both players because of you know, the limited cap. But if I'm signing a player and if I'm franchise tagging one, I'm signing Derrick Henry. I'm, I'm that. This is a player that I've drafted. This is a player that had a thousand yards prior to this season before, who had a huge impact on the Tennessee Titans football season, and a guy in Ryan Tannehill who was just 
the backup quarterback, and he didn't even start every game. Again, he got his money now, but what if next year he disappoints? Next year he disappoints, and Derrick Henry is gone. You know, you know, it's 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 a risk. It's 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 a it's a huge risk. It's a huge business decision, and the Titans obviously made their move and they chose to go with the quarterback position over the running back. But I don't know. It, it just it definitely sucks to see Derrick Henry at tw that that's going to be twenty years of age. He's never going to get that contract that he wants to. I, I just it just sucks that he's never gonna get that big time money because I think he deserves it. I think his amount of carries, the amount of boatload, the, the amount of carries he's had, um, especially the amount of the, the the load that he's that he's had that he, um he's had to put through you know as for, in his body, um, it definitely sucks. I mean, I'm stuttering right now, but you know it just I don't know. I, I do I normally do that when I definitely feel sorry, um, but man, um, I just feel sorry for Derrick Henry, and I hope that eventually he does get his money. I don't think he he will. Um, but it just definitely sucks. Uh, it's understandable, though. Um, again, they, they paid the quarterback, and that's normally what you're supposed to do. Um, so anyway, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know below the comic session. What did you guys think? You know, Did you think that Derrick Henry deserved to get franchise tagged, that Ryan Tannehill deserved to get the money? I would really like to know your guys' opinion on that. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Just someone 6. I'm going to catch you guys in a bit. Peace.